Former Speaker of the House, Republican Representative John Boehner, retired from Congress in 2015. He is now a lobbyist for cannabis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he has said that, quote, over the last 10 or 15 years, the American people's attitudes have changed dramatically. I find myself in that same position. Now, this is a gigantic flip flop because all throughout his time in Congress, he was a staunch opponent mm-hmm. of cannabis. Uh, he once called himself unalterably opposed to the legalization of marijuana. So we covered this story last week and we have noticed that Jimmy Dore have, has covered it as well. I'm joining the board of Acreage Holdings because my thinking on cannabis has evolved. Yes. I'm convinced descheduling the drug is needed so we can do research, help our veterans and reverse the opioid epidemic ravaging our communities. Wow. So he's uh, he's joining the board of Acreage Holdings. Acreage Holdings. I wonder how many acreages they hold of weed. <laughs> Mr. Boehner. By, but, so now just imagine this. John Boehner and the Republicans are now outlefting Barack Obama, Joe Kennedy, and the Democrats on marijuana. <laughs> the thing is, like, this is how I've always seen it. We can criticize Democrats without making Republicans into something they are not. Exactly. That's not necessary. There's so much to criticize Democrats on. And we do this so often. We've done it ever since we have, you know, done this program. Ever since we weren't doing live. Ever since we were just doing videos and uploading them in 2016. There's so much to talk about with the Democratic Party. Why would you have to create something that's false to hit them with. Exactly. Why would you have to create a false narrative to hit them in a place when there's so many other uh, places to hit them? Because, again, I went into the video thinking that... This oh, is man, sarcasm. This is sarcasm. Man, Jimmy's going to see through this. This is not like Boner all of a sudden evolving on his position is not a matter of him like having a new conscience or a new worldview about marijuana, but he evolved on that position the moment that Anchorage Holdings direct deposit hit his bank account. Yes, but see, even even when Jimmy Dore was reading the tweet from Boehner, he did like this. So it seems like he does understand that it was about money, that Boehner probably switched his position because he's being paid for it. Republicans are out left in Democrats. One, it makes you seem like John Boehner, which is anecdotal evidence at best, he represents the whole Republican Party, even though he's not even in Congress anymore. I was anymore. about to say, he's not there anymore. So how can you use him as an example? How can you use him as the poster child when he's not even there? In a statement, he and William F. Weld, the former Massachusetts governor, who also joined the Acreage Holdings Board, said the time has come for serious consideration of a shift in federal marijuana policy. How you think? Two Republicans advocating for a shift in marijuana policy. Where are the Democrats on this? Not leading. Not leading. If you want to mention that John Boehner, former Republican, switches views. Oh, man, that's that's a flip flop. That's major news. OK, sure. We understand it's about money, but OK. But to bring up William Wells name when you know he has libertarian views is being disingenuous at best. Look, straight from the Libertarian Party's website, it says libertarians believe that it is immoral for the government to dictate which substances a person is permitted to consume whether it is alcohol tobacco herbal remedies saturated fat marijuana etc these decisions belong to individual people not the government these are the views of the libertarian party for which william weld was the nominee for vice president if the republican party decided to make this part of their plank legalize legalizing marijuana everywhere they they get they would be, again maintain their position. They would wipe out the Democrats completely if they're not already completely wiped out. That's what would happen. Ah, the Republicans are more progressive on marijuana than the Democrats. It's unbelievable. Most of the congressmen that have come out in support of marijuana, or at least medical marijuana, have been Democrats, right? So I took a look and um <laughs> I can note some names, right? Okay, so uh, Cory Booker introduced legislation that would legalize marijuana. Yeah, we talked about that. Yes, we talked about we talked about how wacky it was. Yes, we talked about like and how he did it 
when there's a Republican and you know there's a, there's a Republican president. And we made fun of it because it just his like kind of uh, Martin Luther King esque type mm-hmm. like persona. Like he was just stumping for himself. So yeah, we understand right. what that was about, but he still. But did he it. still. Yeah, he still proposed it. Who 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 co-sponsored it? Senator uh, Kirsten, no, well, Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten Gil- Gillibrand. And then Bernie Sanders was up there. Bernie Sanders is an independent, and we already know what he, he what he feels he, on, yeah, yeah. on 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 marijuana. He's he's made he that just, known. He was just long up time there, ago. like to provide like support. Yeah. I'm just saying, like that. We made fun of that whole speech, but right? Go ahead. But Kirsten Gillibrand, who was a Democratic senator, she co-sponsored it, so she's for legalizing marijuana as well. Uh, we have Senator Jeff Merkley. Who believes in legalizing marijuana? We have uh, Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. You can like now. You can say that okay, they're being phony, but they've come out and because said that the they timing. support it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They they've come out and they support the legalization of marijuana. Uh, Senator Chris Coons supports medical marijuana. So does Senator Bill Nelson, Senator Tammy Baldwin. In the House, there's uh, um, Representative Raul uh, Grijalva. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's uh, rep- uh, rep- um, Representative Tulsi Gabbard. There's many, there's many Democrats that at least support the idea of medical marijuana, yeah, like, if not mm-hmm. legalizing marijuana completely. Yeah, last year, um, Senator Patrick Leahy from uh, Vermont in, uh, wanted to assert an amendment on a spending bill that would protect medical marijuana. The, the 12 people that uh, called for a hearing because of Jeff Sessions uh, rescinding Obama-era uh, mandates to uh, kind of... Uh, I guess uh, reduce how federal the federal government prosecutes marijuana cases. Mm-hmm. The twelve people who called for that hearing were Democrats. So again, uh, again, are Republicans actually out left in Democrats? Like I understand how many people have this disdain for the Democratic Party. We hold that same disdain for the Democratic Party. We also hold that disdain for the Republican Party, though. So we're not going to fabricate information to say that the Democrats are so bad and they're so much worse than the Republicans because of this, which is absolutely false. We can deal with the truth. We can hit them with the truth. We don't have to fabricate evidence. We don't have to say that because of one man, John Boehner, he indicates that the whole entire Republican party is now more progressive on marijuana than the Democrats. That is absolutely false. I wish that more Democrats were more were more progressive on marijuana. Yes, and we both wish, wish that they were leading, like Jimmy Dore said. Yes, but it seems like there are a few that are. Way more than one Republican that is now out of Congress. So what are you doing, Jimmy? Every criticism of the Democratic Party is not valid simply because many of them are frauds. If you think that this is not a case of uh, uh, Jimmy door still using the animus that kind of developed during the 2016 election and crafting narratives and stories behind that animus then you're fooling yourself that's that's exactly what he is doing and again he's not the only one and see we brought this issue up because we know how important jimmy door is to report in the news Mm -hmm. we understand that we understand that like i said a lot of people have an affinity for him a lot of people view him as progressive which i believe he is and a lot of people trust his reporting that's why we have to hold him accountable when he's obviously wrong on something that he's reporting we hold people accountable we always state this we don't care if you're progressive we don't care if you're a democrat a republican a conservative a libertarian if there's something to criticize We are definitely going to criticize you. And as it goes with Jimmy Dore, we understand how important he has been to the progressive voice. If we allow our progressive voices to lie to us, what are we doing here?